Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. Uh, we are in Python uh, Playwright series. Today we are going to see the locators. Uh, previously we saw CSS. Today we are going to see XPath. XPath is the most important topic in interviews as well as a daily uh, day to life of uh, any automation testers. Okay. In XPath there are two XPaths. Uh, one is absolute, one is relative. Absolute I won't recommend. Even you don't guys use it. Absolute is not good for uh, uh, real time projects. We can directly uh, see the relative XPath. In relative XPath also we have so many uh, uh, subtopics. Okay. Uh, so today video is going to be a little lengthy, but it's very important to our uh, any career. Okay. Uh, uh, next thing is. Uh, so this is the website we are going to use it uh, previously last class also we use the same websites i will give the url in the description for the website okay uh, first as usual uh, this is the last uh, code we done so as usual we create a new class a new file so right click on your project go to new python file and here xpath uh, like underscore demo something we give so this is the entire xpath okay uh, first thing we need to uh, import uh, uh, from uh, from playwright dot sync API from this we need to import the sync playwright okay so after that we need to write with sync playwright as uh, we use simple word p so first thing we need to open the uh, browser So for the browser, we need to use the p dot. So Chrome, we, use a, we are using Chrome, and we need to launch it. So as you know, we need to give the headless to false because it we need to see the uh, visibility, and we need to open the page. So and after that, from the browser, create a new page. After that. From the new page, we need to go to the URL. So the URL, I will copy from here from the browser, and will paste it in the. Okay. So I am maximizing little this. Okay, and right now you are able to see clearly the code. So these three lines we are reading from the day one. So if you are missed out on the first two videos, like how to install the Playwright Python, see the first one. In the second video, we saw the CSS locators. Okay, so let's start with the XPath. The first is XPath. This is the name. Like this, what is the advantage of XPath is it's very comp like use uh, like uh, easy to understand and it is easy to travel from the backward and the backward, like forward and backward both. So that is the best thing of XPath. It's used for traverse between the web elements. So that is the use of XPath. Okay. In this, we are going to see the relative XPath. Understand? Na? Relative XPath. In this first topic, first of all, a simple XPath. What is what is simple XPath? Na using attribute. So in last video, I taught you what is attribute. Even I will teach you right now. So first of all, you want to right click on the page, click on the inspect. So it will open the prompt. Okay. So once you done na, this will open this prompt. This is a HTML, right? Okay. So after that, so this is the inspect. Element, right? So this is the inspect icon. So we need to click on this icon. It will become a blue color. Okay. So I will show you. So click on that, and after that you want to click on which place you want to find the locator location. So I want to find this username means I am clicking here. So in this uh, clickable action, so this input is the what tag name and class name. Placeholder. This and all the attributes of that web element. So I'm going to give a syntax for this. Okay. So what is the attribute syntax means? For we need to use a double slash for the for double slash for relative XPath. So that is the first syntax and tag name. So we need to give a tag name. After that square bracket, we need to Put at symbol for mentioning attribute at symbol and attribute name equal to in double quotation need to give the value of that attribute. Okay, so I'm going to give one example. So first of all, page dot 
weight query selector in the query selector i want to put double slash next is what is the tag name is input right because this is the highlighting blue color so this is the code for this input box okay input square bracket so what is we can take any attribute but it should be unique okay that should be unique okay name equal to in double quotation what is the value of a name username just copy this and paste it so this is how we need to find so right now i told you uh, we need to find the unique you can ask how prashant how can i make it unique Sh make sure so under this here click on control f if you are using mac means command f so if you click on the command f see this this box find is this is like visible find string select r and xpath so we are going to use that only so i'm going to copy the xpath what i created here and i'm going to paste here when i paste it here if you see the magic so when i paste it here it's showing one of that means what it's unique next point is it is highlighting in the yellow color that means the exact location is perfectly highlighting and it's unique because it's one of one okay if i give any wrong xpath means it won't come okay so that's one then right now i am going to store in a variable like i am giving like this is username element i am giving a name like that you can give any name is like this is a variable in this variable i am storing this web element and i am going to store the password element equal to same page dot wait selector in single quote double slash you guys first tell me what is the first step first step you need to click on the inspect element second step you want to select the where the location you want to find so i clicked it third step see this it is highlighted in the blue color so what is the tag name input is the tag name square bracket after that attribute in this we can there are two attributes there type name placeholder so for a change i will use the placeholder so before that i want to put add symbol placeholder equal to double quotation in the double quotation i want to place the value so what is the value for placeholder is password i'm copying the password and pasting here to verify i'm copying this xpath and i'm pasting here see here this time also it's superbly came one of one unique for this xpath and it's highlighted in the yellow color so it's a unique xpath okay so right now i take it for password next one is what i want to find i want to log in so log in so i'm going to create a login element equal to page dot wait query you guys can tell double slash so for the first step click on the inspect element it will become blue color now go to the location you want to click on the button it will highlight here okay so what is the tag what is the tag name is button is a tag name at see this button is the tag name and type so i'm copying this type equal to submit so to verify just copy the xpath and place it here cool let's read it is highlighted properly it's one of one okay so this is what we need to do we need to type it here because that is a username field so what you need to type you need to type the username of this website after that finding the password you want to type again because this is also input box so if you want to type the password here third one is login so login is a button you want to click action so you need to click so here we use a type here you using a click okay so i am putting a general weight to see the everything page dot wait for uh, 3000 seconds means 3 seconds it's a millisecond i am right clicking in the page and clicking on the run button 
see this its browser got launched see this its cool now so this is a superb thing of xpath so this is simple using attribute a uh, next one is very important is uh, uh, this time i'm going to use a text method okay so text uh, uh, in the same in xpath this is using a text so for that what we need to give as usual double slash syntax tag name square bracket text equal to in this you want to paste the in double quotation you want to paste the text what you can ask prashant what is text so attribute i showed you which is comes inside the tags but text is kind of a blue color uh, black and white coming a uh, black color so basically so in every place whatever the text visible here like login password so this and all basically as a text actually see this login it is outside the button tag see this it's coming in a black color in so this is the text actually okay so we can use sometimes we can use text as well because sup suppose we don't have any proper attributes in our web element means we don't have other choice so we need to use the visible text so this is the black color whatever it's mentioned here in the text it only disable in the screen okay suppose i'm inspecting uh, uh, this forgot password think like that i'm inspecting the forgot password see this in the forgot password i'm expanding this i'm clicking on this expand option see here you guys able to see here right so the forgot password in the black color is coming out of the p tag it is in, in black color it is visible in the text if i want to find the forgot password i want to use a text so how can i use a text as i said here so i want to type the text here this is a syntax in a real time what i'm going to do page dot query wait query selector in single quotation double slash what is the tag name for this for the forgot password is p so p is the tag name p square bracket text method so we want to use a circle so text method equal to in double quotation you want to copy exactly what is there even the space that is more important in text so any one ask uh, the next uh, topic we will study contains in an uh, interview i will ask what is the difference between text and contains huh? text should be matched exactly with what is uh, in a screen so you just copy exactly what is there just double click it if you double click it will capture the entire text okay i'm going to command this entire part okay i'm commanding this entire part so right now in a in a login page i'm going to click on what so i'm giving directly click here there are two ways you can store in a web element and you can use it otherwise you can directly in the sentence you can click this is another way so what is a good thing of storing na if if you store in one time we can use n times the same variable if you are not storing na every time you want to write the expert that is the only difference okay so i'm going to run we'll see this is uh, and wait a second i will copy the wait as well this i remove this so uh, wait over here so it need to click on the forgot password text okay see this it's click on the forgot password wow because we used the text method so this is the second topic of the react expert it is a more mostly we use the next thing is most most we use <laughs> even myself also this contains contains we can use in two ways in attributes also uh, we can use attributes the same contains only in attributes so how to use na syntax you can just note it down double slash as usual tag name square bracket here you want to use contains it is a method like attribute at attribute comma in double quotation value the same attribute function only 
so what is this contain means suppose uh, i am going to write for text here you will understand from that so for text how to use the contains method double slash tag name square bracket as usual contains this is going to use a text method double quotation so in this you guys see even i give a space also because i told you earlier if i using a text means i want to give the entire even to space comma everything but if i'm using content means i can give this itself it's enough for me sometimes see this because i should only want to it verify this word is contains in the text so i'm copying this take an example i am pasting here this is the p tag na basically tag name is p contains no oh. Cool, cool, cool. Where I'm missing it? Contains. Mm. Actually, I don't know even <laughs> what is the thing. So let me try in a different things. Okay, I'm inspecting this um, username uh, label. Okay. So what is the tag name for this? The tag name is label. So label and uh, it has a name. A text is username. Spellings, right? So, in this label, it's highlighting. Okay, it's on now. Maybe it's the testing site. That's why it's the something error is coming. So we can using contains. You can simply I can copying this and pasting it in the thread. Okay. So this is the example for how to use in a text. Okay. So attribute also we can simply use in any attribute. Suppose for that example for the attribute, I will write it on new things. So double slash. Suppose the same username you want to use the contains method. So this is a username, right? I'm going to give a username. It's a placeholder, obviously. Input contains. So you want to use the at at a placeholder, and you want to give it the username. So I'm removing then our name. I am only giving the user. See here, only I am giving the user. But this time also, it's highlighting on our phone. So that is the power of contains method. Okay. So it is very very cool thing. Like contains, we can use most of the places. Uh, it will be very very useful. But we need to very make sure because uh, in some places the same like it has the same name. Like with some ways, user name Prashant or some something user name Ravi. If I give user name now, it will take both the things. It will confuse. But what we make sure now, we will make sure that is it is unique or not. That is thing. So it's contains method. Okay. So we saw what are things. We saw simple uh, normal attribute X path text contains. And in this we have a couple of things like st uh, starts with ends with starts uh, with ends ends uh, with so this and all in interviews they will ask you so how to dynamically you will find it okay so uh, dynamic dynamically find the web element suppose the example it's coming like prashant one two three one time and if you refer the page it will come prashant one three four five six so uh, next time uh, prashant uh, nine eight seven so in this interview will ask me how you will find the expert for this items so i simply says i will use starts with in the starts with i will tell a simple next path tag name square bracket starts uh, with prashant no so before that i want to tell the tag name 
like in the tag name like id comma so i can simply say it will starts with prashant if it ends with means for ex- ends with the example suppose any value is coming it's always ends with a uh, user like that so what i will do i will take expert for username i will use ends with option so that is a cool thing of start with an end with this is mostly you will answer for if i interview they will ask me but tell me for dynamic expert like dynamic locator how you will find the expert na you tell this one okay and the next one is kind of family we called us so what is a family na suppose there are uh, what are things na parent parent uh, child and sister like that so what is those things na so i come to an example in this you are able to find the top element but you want to go to uh, to the local so how you will uh, come to know that so in those places suppose in this you are able to identify the form okay but you want to go to this input how will you go so you can simply go to this x path after that you want to mention like i'm giving an um, like example like tag name you finding some simple expert take any simple expert you finding like uh, id equal to uh, so and so like xyz so you want to put single slash parent double colon that ex- remaining expert so what will happen this will take the parent from that node to previous like backwards if you are taking the child means suppose you 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 want to the parent but you want to get his child location means simply you can use child in this place so for father means you need to go from input to form child means from parent to child like form to input like forward and backward okay this is the place we will use it's a parent and child okay ancestor is suppose you want to go to the like great grand parent like that you want to go from this input to the great like this div from 3 to 4 parents ahead so that time you can use ancestor but more important thing is we can use siblings that is in the interviews i will you need to uh, this question in, i got in my um, uh, my previous example like uh, i am taking a web table and that like the normal web table okay so normal web table uh, i can take in one small example from this you guys can understand so i will tell the what question is came to me so consider this is a one web table okay consider this is a web table so the customer is giving the company name is microsoft so the interviewer asking me prashant how you will tell me if i give a microsoft i want the country name so how will you will find it so initially i told uh, expert here there 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 but the simplest form simplest form is when i know this this row consider this this all are same siblings siblings mod brothers sisters or anything so if i inspect this microsoft if i able to find the microsoft see this microsoft here in the td obviously the country should be my second sibling because first sibling is contact second sibling is country so obviously the third sibling what austria so how cool no so for this only siblings will help us okay suppose you are able to find the uh, simple uh, the, the simple tag name he is giving like uh, at uh, some name equal to microsoft something uh, if i take an example so this something this td this td tag it has a text it has a text of what text of microsoft microsoft simply you can put double slash my following hyphen sibling double colon so what my sibling name he is also td second why is he second td one as 
from me my first contact td2 is my second following sibling so how cool no this first following sibling also is very uh, like interesting one it is in some places uh, i won't say all the things are we use in everywhere no when you find the problem you should have one solution so expert you are studying right this is a you want to know all the topic but you are not going to use it but one day some new feature is going to come at that time we need to have that mentality so which expert suits for this one i can use this one okay but normal days we will simply use contains and normal as usual attribute only in day to day activity but some day some complex applications or complex flow that time we required some dynamic super duper expert to handle that time you all your brain want to brush up first basic things you just use it simple expert simple attribute expert text and contains this three alone you keep on using it and automatically this will come and day one now you cannot learn a single day if you learn a single day everyone become automation tester and then you won't get a job <laughs> so that's why it's a little tedious task but expert is more lovable one because this is the only thing you want to work on daily basis remaining thing all if you know expert all are comes in the line okay so thanks for joining in this, this is my uh, longest video in my entire uh, youtube series uh, thanks for joining if you like the video please like and subscribe um, we'll see in the next class with a more important topic than this bye